two. All right, obesity in America. Here you can see the obesity rates as you increase all the way up to 2007. This is from the CDC. As you see, as of 1994, it wasn't too bad. Um, as it got up all the way up to 2007, you see that more and more and more as coming to obese. And that's just because of our lifestyle and how we're living with the fast food, <clears throat> how we're getting more fast food, how our grocery stores are you know, offering cheap, low nutritional food, and that our public schools are also offering the same kind of fast food we go out and buy. And obesity is caused by taking too many calories. So when you go out and buy that fast food, it's about, you know, you're taking in 1,000 calories, but you're not actually expending 1,000 calories. So therefore, you're creating a caloric imbalance where you're just going to gain fat just because of what you're eating. I'm not saying that's always going to be bad for you, but it can be. Um, our public schools are the same way that, you know, they're giving our kids the same, <coughs> giving our kids the same kind of food, but not offering many, you know, physical exercise programs or not giving them enough motivation to do it. Uh, like I stated earlier, uh, Poland did a research in his book, Omnivore's Dilemma, and he showed that the energy costs available at different supermarkets from low nutritional foods to the healthy foods compared to the amount of money spent is disproportionately on the low nutritional foods. That you can just buy a dollar, I'm sorry, you can, with the dollar you can buy so much more uh, than you can with uh, buying carrots, you know, buying cookies over carrots, basically. Go ahead. And as you see from this report to the CDC, that an average of 18% of kids are overweight or obese. And when you factor that in, that over about 68% of all Americans are sick, uh, are overweight or obese, you know, that's a, that's a huge number, and that's not something that should be really taken away. Um, you know, to go food, you go out to any school, you see how pizza, uh, Pepsi, Coke, you know, just basically food that's not good for them, and that they're always going to choose because they like it. And I think that's the problem with schools is they're offering foods kids want, not what they really need. You know, when we're parents, we need to take care of our kids, not, you know, encourage them with unhealthy foods and 